Hello, my name is Gowrie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you enjoy the video. Please show support by subscribing. Thank you. white flag apparently is symbolic of the uh, naval presence that um, yellow uh, gateway type of thing is uh, just for a showcase this uh, history basically spans of the French uh, occupation here. Two times British were. British had conquered, taken over, and finally drove French right out. This whole thing was built around here in Louisbourg, mainly for the cord industry. Cord apparently was big big bucks for the king and uh, French came here and <clears throat> and also because the cod uh, was all like you know uh, used up in the ports of France and all that they were looking for uh, better waters like about 52 million pounds of cod that was shipped annually to France. So cod was big industry, big money maker for the king. So he protected this entire area by building fortress and all that. And after the first time of the takeover uh, by Britain or from New England, uh, they really, by the second time, they had uh, about 4,000 compared to about 800 the first time, 4,000 soldiers protecting it. And even so, finally they had to lose to England. It was a fantastic experience. The reenactment were all so real, so much effort had been put into it. It was just absolutely worthwhile. Oh, this is the uh, Louisburg Fort area. September the 18th, 2015. My last day of official travel. I am in Louisburg, Nova Scotia. What a wonderful day. Wonderful day. Spectacular. Highly educational. Wow. It's just unbelievable. The reenactment. Just all the effort that goes into it.
these are the times I'm really proud to be a Canadian. Because, you know, so much importance is given to the history, historical artifacts, you know, trying to really picture how it really was about 300 years ago. And I represent what's known as the Company Franche de la Marais. So I'm pretty much a land-based marine. The only sailing time I really actually got to see was when I sailed over from France. It took me about six weeks to get here. And when I arrived here, I knew I was in trouble because when they were recruiting me over there, they promised great things. <laughs> they promised me beautiful, warm weather. I arrived in the spring. Spring is not so beautiful and warm. Today is a very beautiful, warm day. However, in the spring, we have a lot of ice. We have a lot of fog. powder from my cartridge to use as the primer. Closing it up. Okay, it's 11.30. I want to keep yeah. as much of my hand away from the barrel as possible, just in case of a premature firing. I lose the tip of my finger. That's about it. <laughs> and hopefully on the count of three. One, two, three. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You're in the home of military captain, Michelle Degant. And he lives here with his wife, Elizabeth de Catalone, and his six children. Yeah, five girls, one little boy, God bless them, right? Yeah, 13 and younger. Oh, wow. I'm one of two day servants here. My name is Elaine, and we have the other servants, Lucy. Now, I don't live in. Oh, I'll tell you about me first, of course. <laughs> Who are they, right? Um, so I don't live in. I come in in the morning. My husband was a fisherman. God bless his soul. Yeah. A, a tavern owner here, Madame Grandchamp, she inherited. She's not a nice woman. No, no. No, she's miserable, let me tell you. I love gossip. <laughs> so, one day, somebody found her. She had her granddaughter in a barrel, poking her for the stick. Isn't that scary? Oh, no. not all. The home of the chief military engineer. His name was Etienne Verrier. And he's third in command. He's chief architect. He's military strategist. He would be the king's royal engineer for the colonies, and the house goes with the job. However, he did design this house for himself, and he did go five times over the original estimate that he had to build. Uh -huh. A little bit nice. This man had four that he brought with him from France. He has a cook, a male domestic, and two other female servants in the house. Cook is the head housekeeper. She's in charge. That's because his wife came over here for about two years, and she didn't feel the climate here was quite good for her health. She has a lovely home in Provence, and <laughs> life on the French Riviera is somewhat different than life in Louisburg, and she never came back. But it is a spit jack, and it works by the weight of the stone. It's our rotisserie for roasting meat in front of the fire. So the weight pulls on the rope, that turns the gears, that turns the chain, that turns the spit in front of the fire. That's how you cook and eat. Mm -hmm. Now you can add two more chains and two more skewers and be cooking three things at the same time. He set up an observatory in the clock tower where he studied the stars. 
He was also involved in, in uh, collecting samples of birds, of plants, of uh, any types of rocks. Everything uh, that he would get here, he would... Whoa. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.